those. Um, so I'm just going to bro open Lightroom Classic and you're all very aware of how to import your photos at this stage. Um, you've done it loads, I know, um, by now um, in class. So I'm just going to click on import. And I have it up here at the top, my 173 Premier Lego shots. I'm going to click on them here and um, check all and import. Okay. So if we just go back to that, that um, file I was showing you there a second ago, the preview one, and it kind of goes through it here. So you've opened Lightroom. You've um, brought in your um, library mode. You've, you've imported your photos. Now you're going to develop mode and you're going to select one image, just one. And we're going to just make the adjustment. Now, the only adjustment we're making here is we're making it, as I said, 16 by 9, if you can see that here. Um, and then we're going to just sync so that every other photograph that will happen to, that we're not going to have to do it 16.9 for every single photograph. So I'm just going to go through that, how to do that with you. Um, and we're kind of done after that, really, apart from um, exporting after that. OK, so I'm going to take my first one. And I know you've gone into develop mode and I know you've all gone into cropping. And um, most of the time you're cropping to 10 by 8. We're doing a slightly different this size. So we're clicking on our crop tool. And I know you've done this already. We've normally gone to um, 8 by 10. This time we're coming down to 16 by 9, which is the kind of the screen size for um, working in Premiere and for working with your animation. So I'm just going to click on that. And I'm probably not going to change it too much. I mean, I can, as you know yourselves, you can move this up and down. I'm going to leave it in the center and I'm going to say done. And it's done. OK, so now I am clicking on my first one, keeping my finger pressed down onto my um, shift key and moving all the way down to the very end. So I can pick up my last one. OK, and now I have them all selected, clicked on the first one, which is the one that I did do the crop to. Make sure you do it to the first one. I've selected all the other ones now, and I'm just going to click on sync here, if you can see it. Just above all the photos, I'm still in develop, clicking on sync. And just make sure it says check all. If it doesn't, you just have to click on check all. And you can see yourself now, it does have all of them checked. And then I click on synchronize. Give it a few seconds and they should all, hopefully, now all be the same size. That's 16 by 9 size. Okay. Am I going to come all back the way, all the way back down to there again? Actually, this is a good way as well when you're in here just to have a quick look at them and see how you're going with them. OK, then my way back. So let's have a quick flip through. So you can see the size is slightly different now with this 16 by 9. Um, you can also see what I'm talking about the torch. So say I have my constant light on, and then there's the torch light on it. So that's all you really have to do so far um, in order to get these prepared for going into Premiere. The next thing is to export. So again, I am just going to go back to library and I'm just going to select them all. That's probably a quicker way of selecting them all this way, but this is the way I do it. Again, finger just pressed on shift key and down to the very end and I've selected them all. Okay, so. Now, there's a few settings that we have to do, make sure we have correct here for export. So I'm going to click on export. And that sheet that I showed you earlier, um, let me just click on it here. This one has all about what the settings are for export. So you refer back to this, but I'll go through it here now on this as well. So um, we're exporting to wherever you want. So I'm going to export to my desktop. Um, I'm going to put it in a folder called um, Actually, I'll just leave it on the desk server, but I'm going to put a subfolder called uh, Premiere Class Lego Shots. Premiere Class Lego Shots. And 
I'm going to click here on custom name. I'm going to click on custom name sequence in the file name second section. So for in the um, export location, you're just saying you want to put it on the desktop or wherever it's you're hoping to put it. I'm just giving it a, 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 a folder name. I've called it Premier Class Lego Shots. Um, I'm now going to go down to the bit that says file naming and I'm cl clicking on custom name sequence. Now, would have just said custom name? We're changing it to custom name sequence. I'm going to call it, uh, again, I'm just going to call it the same thing, uh, Premier Class Lego Shots. Okay. And then, I'm, so start numbering from one, obviously. Um, the image format then is you're leaving a uh, video alone and you're going just down to file settings um, you're leaving a JPEG. The quality I in some of the other ones, I brought them down to 80 because I'm very conscious that there is like if you're I'm saying to you to do between whatever 150 and 200, 250, that there's so many of them. And I know we have great Macs in the room, but I think I'm just going to bring this down to 80 so they're not all giant, huge, massive ones. Um, this is very much to do with the size of the files. Now down to image sizing. So click on resize to fit, and you need to see this one nine two zero by one zero eight zero. You need to make sure that is in there, and um, that it's one thousand and twenty by one zero eight zero, and that's the the um, to correspond with the twelve by nine that we did earlier. Okay, so I'm just checking that one nine, and, and make sure it's pixels as well. So 1920 pixels by 1080. Resolution does not need to be 300. You think of three, always use 300 for like good quality photograph size. This is for putting into Premiere. I'm not going to go down as low as 72, but I kind of tend to think, keep it around 180. I think it's a good size for it. So your resolution will be 180. Um, and I think as far as I know, that's it. Um, oh, sorry. Yes, my output. Output is not for matte paper, it's for screen. So make sure you click change that to screen. Right. And that's it as far as I know. I don't think there's any more. Um, let's just click on this last one. What was this last one? Metadata. We don't need that bit. Okay, so that's it. So your output sharing, um, your file setting, which is here, your image sizing. And your file name. And this is all on that sheet, so don't worry if you if this is going too quick and you can't figure it out from this one. Okay, once I have all that done, I'm going to click on export. All right, and give it a few minutes. You can see it up here where it's exporting the 173 files. So obviously it's going to take a bit quicker. I mean, sorry, a bit slower than normal to export that event. Um, and then we'll just have a quick look at it on screen. So this is the only suppose time you're going to be using Lightroom for um, your stop motion animation is really is just to get your photos all prepared for moving into Premiere. Okay, so I think it's possibly done it, hopefully. Okay, it's done it. Okay, so I'm just going to minimize here. And as I said, this is the sheet which I will put into the resources and you can refer back to this at any stage for those settings that you must do in, in Lightroom.